So the ILEE, uh, uh, since 2019, has recommended that uh, all women that uh, use uh, anti-seizure medication should use at least uh, 0.4 milligrams of uh, folic acid daily, regardless of pregnancy plans, because... Uh, because to ensure that uh, the fallout status is good if you get pregnant. Because uh, a lot of women get pregnant um, um, without planning it. Uh, and and we, we see that that happens to from one in four to uh, two in four women with uh, using anti-seizure medications. So uh, it's important that that, that uh, all women have a good folate status in case they are getting pregnant and also for their general health because uh, uh, folate is, is important for a lot of processes. Uh, so the question really regards, uh, should I use high-dose folic acid or not? Because uh, the uh, controversy is not about the low-dose. Uh, everyone agrees that low-dose is good. So... Um, should I use high dose? I do. I use a uh, high dose folic acid, but not the highest dose, not five milligram. I generally use uh, uh, four milligrams um, uh, for the uh, before pregnancy, uh, after they have stopped uh, the contraception and the first uh, trimester. And then I taper it down to uh, 0.4 and I measure the folate uh, levels uh, to sure, ensure that they are above um, 25 um, million, uh, which is, uh, uh, well, a cell in the upper um, area of, uh, of uh, normality. So, uh, but there's no evidence that uh, you can use these uh, serum concentration of folate to, uh, to guide your dosage. Uh, no one has really investigated that, but it makes sense. So that's why I do it. But I can't really... Uh, 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 there, we, we do lack uh, general guidelines for, for, how, uh, for, the, for the safest way to do it.